Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Plus. Today we are featuring Riverside Apartment by Lyran of Mixwater Mods. This is usually the part of the episode where I say, let's check out the map, but we are conveniently located within the city of Riften. We'll head downstairs towards Elgrim's Elixirs and you'll see a new door to the Riverside Apartment. You'll also find a lot of new plant life and bees between the apartment and Elgrim's Elixirs, which has great continuity considering it's next to an alchemy shop. It's amazing what a pop of color can do to liven up a familiar scene. Let's check out the inside of our new home. When we enter the home, you'll notice that it's an open floor plan with a kitchen to the left, a bedroom up the stairs, an office area under the stairs, a bathroom behind that, and a well-decorated foyer area. Let's start by taking a look at the kitchen. Within the kitchen, you have a lot of clutter that acts as named storage. In this kitchen alone, we have many storage containers for fish, coffee, bread, grains, seeds and nuts, flowers, desserts, salt, eggs, apples, vegetables, cheese, cured meats, garlic, lavender, berries and grapes, spices, wine and beverages. Okay, pop quiz. Which of the following items does not have an individual storage container? Just kidding. You also have a grinder on the counter that acts as a grain mill, as long as you have the necessary ingredients and a butter churn that produces tin butter, no ingredients necessary. We have an oven, cooking pot, more storage jars, and a shelf for wine and drink storage, and a nautical themed accent wall with a ship painting, steering wheel, model ship, and horker display. Now for some clicky fun. Notice this dining table is clear, but when I sit down in this chair, the table is set for me to have a meal. And when I stand up, it cleans up. The same thing happens when you or a follower sits at the bar. A drink appears for you, and when you stand up again, it's tidy. Another clicky can be found when you turn around. This comfortable fur by the fireplace acts as a bedroll for a follower to stay. Here's a custom chessboard with the Skyrim logo on the tiles. It has mud crabs as the pawns and other familiar faces like Frost Atronox and Alduin pieces as the higher ranked pieces. Beside our chessboard, we have a bookshelf. I'll turn on my travel lantern so you can see the decorations on top. We have a ship in a jar, a statue, and a little picture of a ship on the docks. Next, we have a foyer table with gemstone storage, a shrine of Kenrith, some seashells, a boat painting, as well as the black hand, and some other thoughtful decor. Let's head to the bathroom. I love the way this candlelight reflects off of this carpet that acts as the divider between the main living area and the bathroom. As we enter the bathroom, you'll notice we have a stylish copper clawfoot tub with running water, and it can be turned on and off with that red valve. You also have a toilet and some well-placed paper rolls, and I think you know what that's probably for after taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. And then while you're there, you can take note of this beautiful painting on the wall. And if that's not your thing, maybe you can enjoy some reading material. I won't judge you too much on your choice there, Lyran. Now let's head back out. Don't forget to wash your hands with this water trough after using the bathroom. Around the corner, we have our office area. You have key storage, a shrine of Talos, a place to store everything book-related like notes and letters, journals, rare books, scrolls, and just normal books. And one of my favorite personal touches about this home can be found underneath the desk. A swear jar. You heard me right. And it comes with a special note to the player. It reads, This swear jar is my gift to the player and a clue about how many times I cussed while creating this mod. Enjoy the little bonus and have a giggle on me. Lyran. Okay, let's see how many times. 1,854 swears. Ooh, that's some colorful language right there. It's completely understandable though. I need one for video editing and that isn't half as hard as making mods. Now we've gone upstairs to the bedroom and I'm going to turn on my lantern to show you the closet. You have a storage for heavy armor, light armor, a knapsack for travel gear, and drawers for noble clothing, gauntlets and gloves, and normal clothing. 
and below that is storage for your boots. Beside your closet is a weapons rack with a map of Skyrim in the background. I don't think I've ever seen a mod author use that before, but I like it. It looks great. Next, we have a nightstand with a Shrine of Mara, a jewelry box, and it's right next to a bed with some amazing looking bedding. And a nice painting right above your bed, and I liked how they used the flowers and the netting above the bed too. That looks really neat. On this side of the bed, we have two new chests that are unique models and a steering wheel on your bed since you're the captain of this home. And as Ryantium used to say, here are some bookshelves for the bookworms of Skyrim. This space would have a super cozy feel if you stocked all of these bookshelves and became the brains and brawn of Skyrim. And here's my favorite painting in the house. I have a cat at home, so I appreciate the cat in the snow. Looking at this table, it appears you are doing some research on the skeleton key that can supposedly open all locks. That might be worth looking into. Let's head back downstairs and head to the basement. We've entered our basement. We have an underwater view of the rift and docks, and a crate or two which probably contains smuggled merchandise of a thief. You can also hear the sloshing of water. This side of the room offers a boat bed for you or a follower. And here's a trap door that leads out of the home. Once you leave, your fast travel map marker for the home will activate. We'll show you that in a couple of minutes. This ladder leads you back up to the top floor. And then you have a shelf with a chest, and this door leads you to a display room for your special items. We'll come back there in a minute. Over here, this chest is marked for armor. And then beside that is a barrel for trash. You can put items that you don't want to sell to a vendor there and it will get rid of them. Look at all of the custom pictures of different alchemical ingredients by your mushroom garden and shrine of nocturnal. You have a glass collection of insects next to your alchemy lab which has a basket for your ingredients, a glassed-in cabinet for potions and poisons, storage for scrolls, soul gems, linen wraps and bones, the arcane enchanter, and a storage for pelts, leathers, ores, and ingots by your full smithing suite. This is your smelter. And then this tanning kit replaces a tanning rack. You'll see these in a lot of Lyran's mods. Okay, now it's time to go and check out that display room. Doesn't this room look fantastic? On this side of the room we have a spot for many of the Thieves Guild quest items, like the Crown of Baron Zaya, the Ornate Drinking Horn, and many others. Here's storage for the Elder Scrolls, and we've rolled out the red carpet and candle lighting for the Amulets to the Divines. And there's a weapons rack with a special crossbow with a fire enchantment included. This is where you can store the Dragon Priest masks and look at Alduin guarding over them. I love how the lighting of the candles reflects off of them. Next we have our holders for the Paragons and the Insect Jars. And this ship wheel gives us a place to store all of the dragon claw keys. I like how it matches the theme for the home. That's clever! Here's a special bookshelf to store the black books from the Dragonborn DLC. And the statue of Yskrimor is where you would store Wuthrad. Let's take one more spin around these basement rooms, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the way out to the hatch. I really enjoyed this home's nautical theme and thought it matched well with Riften, which is the fishing capital of Skyrim. I really like the basement with a glassed-in view underneath the docks. The display room was a nice surprise and matched well with the theme of the home. The functional features like the clickies and the name storage were useful, and I love the personal touch of the swear jar. These were just some of the reasons that I enjoyed the home, and I believe you will too. If you like this, the same mod author, Lyran, has three more home mods coming out in the near future on Mixwater Mods. They are named Faneath, Dragon Watch Keep, and Darkenwald. It's been a while since she's uploaded a home, so she's very excited for you to check out her new work. I will place some links to the videos of her other homes I've covered in the description in case you're curious. Now let's go check out that hatch door. It takes us outside to Lake Honrich, and when we turn around, you'll see a door that leads inside the basement. 
and when we check out our map, our fast travel marker for the home is now activated. I hope you enjoyed the tour. See you soon. This concludes our tour of Riverside Apartment. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. To see more of my past tours, click the playlist on the top left. To see my future content, click the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. And to never miss an episode, click the bell icon to receive notifications of when I post. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.